Hi folks and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. What I'm going to do today is uh, we're, we're in the marina kitchen here, what I call my man cave kitchen down in the basement uh, where I do some of my own types of cooking and, and different things. I don't do much cooking but uh, I've got a stove, i got a microwave, i got a little fryer. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to fry you up some cod. I'm going to show you a new toy I just got uh, about two weeks ago. And I'm gonna try it out for the second time. I had good luck the first time, I'm gonna try it out for the second time. Let me show you what I got. I picked up this Faberware fryer uh, a couple weeks ago. It was really inexpensive. Um, it was like at 53, 54 bucks. But it comes with a way to store the oil underneath here like this. So the oil is stored under here and kept under here, which is pretty slick. So that's unlocked. You can go to lock position and that locks it from coming out. But then the other cool part is it has a filter position here. So if you look inside here, boom, there's a filter right there built into this unit. And this thing is really slick the way it works. Uh, pretty, pretty thrilled with it. Uh, it's got your fish basket here so you can hang your fish in there and drop them down in the oil and let her fry away. And then it's got, while it's frying, it's got this lid to keep all the splatter and everything down. So it's pretty slick that way. Um, but what I've noticed is it doesn't seem to splatter very much. And it's easy to, it's easy to clean because this part here just lifts out of the way. This part lifts off. You clean it. This is dishwasher safe. So it's actually a pretty slick little unit. So far, so good. So, the, the biggest thrill for me was this part. It holds, it's a three liter fryer. It holds the oil right here. And you, cause, it lets you, allows you to filter the oil and reuse the oil over and over. So now that I'm getting ready to use it again. Here I go, I can just, just like this. Dump my oil back in here. It's automatically going to be at the right level, possibly. We'll see. And what I'm using here today, folks, is peanut oil. All right, we got that dumped in there. Put this back on. Clean up any little excess here. Voila. goes right back in the place go to lock position now right now it says I'm at the max level which is good what I'll do is I'll turn it on here it says here for uh, what is it here fish 340 we'll turn this right up to 340 you know what it helps plug it in there we go go up to 340 when it gets up to temp, that light will turn green for me. And then I'll be ready to drop stuff in. I can set that in here, right there for now. And then I'll prepare my fish while this is warming up. But isn't that a slick outfit? I like it. Now one of my favorite fries to use is this fish fry, Crispy Southern. Seafood breading mix, it's called, from Zatarin's. Uh, I really like this a lot. I like the taste of it. Uh, I'll take this and we'll put some in this uh, a deep bowl here. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need yet. We'll just start off with that. It's not a lot. I just need enough to coat my fish. And I'm only going to be cooking, frying up four pieces of cod. But what I like to do, folks, is I want to cube it up. Uh, if you watched my previous video, I cubed it up for doing the boiling it. Um, this time I want to cube it up because it gets more zatterins all around, more surfaces of your fish that you're going to be eating. And I think it's just going to turn out better. Now, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cube up my fish. Um, get around some nice bite-sized pieces. Or two bite-sized pieces like that. So I'll take that and cut that in half there like that, like that. Like that. Mmm, that looks good. That's going to be so good. And we'll cut this one down. 
It's still a little frozen in the middle. It's all right, it'll thaw out pretty quick here. I'll leave that one like that. I'm trying to get all my cube sizes pretty similar so it cooks up pretty evenly. Once we get it all cubed up like this, we'll go ahead and throw in there. And that's what I like about the bowl like this. I can sit here and just toss it around, get things nicely covered. Add a few more pieces of fish to it. That's why I don't have to use too much of my fish fry and get the most bang for my buck on the coverage here. Nice deep bowl. Look at that. Isn't that beautifully covered right there? That's going to be perfect. Now, the nice thing about this, you know, some people have dipped this in the fish and egg to get the, the batter to stick. But you don't have to do that. Look at that. That's that's stuck on there pretty good. Looks like we got a few pieces need a little more covering yet, but we're getting there. And I like it this way because I like fish nuggets. Now, one thing I do like about having it in a basket or having these cubed up like this is I can sit here and place all these really nice and neatly in the basket here. Get the most bang for my buck on space. And I'm waiting for the oil to come up to temperature anyway, so that helps. Oh, looks like that oil is up to temp. How cool is that? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. We'll let that go in there. It says three to five minutes. So we're going to set a timer here. I'll give her an extra minute here. We're going to let that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that frying up. So pretty. Hey, time is up. Look at those fish nuggets. Hold on, sit there for a minute. Drain. That drains off pretty quick. So now I'm going to take this and dump it over here in my little plate. Hey, look at that. I'm going to get the next batch in here and get going. Alright, batch number two. Look at that. Look at that. Well, there you go, folks. It doesn't get any easier way to prepare fish than that. Go inside here. Look at that. Crispy. Crispy outside. Flaky on the inside. The other thing I'm going to do here is when this is done cooking, and I'm done frying, I'll turn this off. It says to wait four to five hours. And then I can switch this to filter oil. And what that'll do is it'll automatically put all that oil that I've got in here back into the bottom. And it's so slick. Just like you saw me dump it out of there, it puts it back in there. It filters all the crumbles out. Uh, keeps your oil fresh longer. And I'm gonna see how many times I can possibly fry with this oil. You know, they say the biggest thing is keep it out of the sunlight, which this does. Keep it clean, which this automatically filters. Every time you use it, you can get more life out of your oil. Because peanut oil is not crazy cheap, but it's not crazy expensive. But this is this is delicious, folks. And they say the more time you use the oil, the more flavor it builds up over time. And used, used oil it actually tastes better than fresh oil. So I'm excited to learn how this how long this lasts and how the taste starts to change over time. But uh, yeah, this batch here's got about three more minutes to go. But uh, yeah, look at that. It is just this cooking up a storm inside there. So good. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have as much fun watching it as I did. 
making it. Um, like I said, this this fish is so good. I just can't wait to eat another piece of it. Look at that little fish nugget. Mmm. Man, that is so good. But you saw how easy it was. Start to finish. I'm ready to eat supper in about 15 minutes. And I've got some good fish. I got it fried up nice. I'm gonna have some sliced tomatoes. Have me a little sweet tea to go with it because I'm a sweet tea drinker. And I'm a Southern boy originally. Transplanted to Iowa many, many years ago. That's why you don't hear the Southern draw. But uh, I do like, I do know what tastes good. I do know what I like. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Let me, uh, I, I just do a little bit of everything here on the, on the backyard marina. Uh, and I uh, hope you find this helpful and that maybe it inspires you to get out and do something like this as well. Uh, I work on boats, work on cars, work on anything. Do what brings you joy, folks, and do it as often as you can because life is short. Don't miss out on out an opportunity to have some fun. So work hard, play hard. Don't let fear rule your life. Michael out.